Hello. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello? Hi. Hello. Hi, hello. Hi. Okay, I'll stop doing that now. Hello. I'm Timmy Williams from the Whitest Boys in Town. You're watching the official Whitest Boys in Town Twitch food. And uh, every time you uh, do things with money on this, it gives us money to uh, continue funding the Mars movie, which is uh, going to be finished around September. And then that's when we'll start uh, submitting it to festivals and such. And, uh, you know, so every time you donate or subscribe and stuff, uh, the money goes to that. And only that. There, there are certain uh, ne'er-do-wells around that like to say we're, like, making it up or something. But it's like, dude, we're not that smart, all right? We're just not. Okay, let's get into the video game. Doom 64. Um... All right, so let's start answering the questions that people ask 900 times throughout the night. I'll answer them right away, and then we can just... Uh, I'll just keep answering them as they come up. So, um, yes, I've played Doom 1 and Doom 2 on stream. No, I have not played this before. Uh, hmm... I just explained Mars, but I'll have to do that again. Uh, I probably won't play Doom 3. I'll probably play the two newer Dooms once I beat this one. Um, what else do we ask all the time? Uh, I don't know where Sam is either. Um, is it hot today in Watertown? Stay hydrated, buddy. No, and don't tell me what to do. Okay, so this is Doom 64. Now, just in trying to get stuff set up, I already like found a secret and got an achievement for finding the secret, so that already happened. Um, I'm using an Xbox controller. Worked in South Dakota last week, saw a bunch of cord. That is how it works. Well, okay, since since G4 came back, what, does that mean whitest kids? Well, we are back. We're doing something. You just mean the sketch show? Because you only are willing to accept us in one format. Now, I played the original Dooms on keyboard, but this I'm playing on controller because it came out for the N64. It's Doom, Doom 64. And, uh, that's what you do, man. Yeah. Oh. This is what sex is like, yes. How can you properly play this without the trident beast? I don't even know what that means. Um... When are the LA boys going to the media rounds for the movie? I don't know what that question means either. Um, so if you're asking questions about like when is the what will what platforms will the movie be on? When when are we going to do press for it? What is what is all the movie questions? Things like that. Okay. So ooh, look at this chainsaw. So you know the way this movie works, being like funded just by us, or you guys, you know, independently. I mean. Um, yeah, you do one thing at a time. Like, we got to finish it, and then we start shopping it around, and then we know what's going to happen. So we're not going to do press for it before all that. However, 
I am fairly certain that Mr. Zachary, as he's doing the press for Barbarian, is going to, you know, people will say what's next, and he'll say Mars, you know, so that's kind of how that works. Oh, the Trident is an N64 controller. Well, I'm not on an N64, because it doesn't connect to Twitch, although I'm sure you'll say it does, because someone figured it out. But anyways, um, that's, uh, that's, what, uh, that's what's going on here, so... I know some people want to see my armor. When Zach wins the Oscar, we're going full-time Oscar Witch. You know what? I mean, Hollywood only barely respects horror still. They, they kept calling, like, they gave uh, Get Out Oscars, but they kept calling it, what, like, uh, an elevated thriller or some shit like that? And I've already seen Zach's movie referred to as, like, a thriller in some press and stuff, and it's like, dude, I've read, I haven't seen the movie, Sam's seen the movie, I've read the script, it's a horror movie, and people are just such cowards when they refuse to call something horror, you know, it's like, come on. There we go, oh shit. Oh, maybe I'm not on a very high difficulty. The California bar exam starts in about 13 hours. Any last-minute advice? Yeah, don't be a lawyer. <laughs> you watched a horror movie today. All right. Well, if you're going to make fun of the way I say horror, you can uh, suck my butt. Horror! Horror! You want me to say it like the dog at the start of the song Sure Shot by the Beastie Boys? Horror! Ha can you want it? Don't stop! He said you can. You want it? Don't stop! And we all sound like we're from Brooklyn! Dude was so passive-aggressive towards a fan of their content, I'm still confused. Uh, well, the name of this stream is Sassy Game Dad Boys, and, like, I am I love that we have fans, and I love our fans, and I think it's awesome that people like our show. But that doesn't mean I have to put up with anything I don't want to put up with, including people calling our sketches and comedy content. <laughs> and I know you're only doing that because that's what people call everything now, but, like, think about it. That sucks! It's like if you ran a restaurant and you're the head chef and you go out there, uh, you go out in the dining room one night to see what people think about it and they're like, I'm really enjoying your nutrition. You know, it's like, oh geez. Where's the chainsaw? There we go. It's Wolf Foxy. I was just being sassy, and uh, that's what I do. Um, yeah, we are doing stuff. I mean, you, you were asking if we're going to go back to doing what we did before. No. Um, but, yeah, we're making this movie, and one of us is dead, in case you didn't know that. So it kind of makes the idea of going back to what we're doing even more nope. But, uh, and yes, I did see that, and I liked it. Uh, because as soon as I said the word nope, people were going to ask, did you see nope? Um, anyways, uh, you know, so no, we're not going to go back to that stuff. And if they're back doing G4, that's cool. That's just not, I don't see us doing that, you know. Is G4 going to get, what's her name? Sarah Underpants? Sarah Underwood? Again? Oh, God. Oh, what? Okay, I need a better, quicker way to switch weapons. I'm getting really confused. Oh, I like this, though. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Wait, what? 
Oh, this is the camera feed. Where is that, though? Sam Hamich, I forgot about that sketch. You're right. Sarah Underwood is killing it on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, she was on our tour bus uh, during the, the Miss March White as Kids tour. She was cool. Um, she had her own room. And I had my huge, a uh, huge folder of uh, DVDs. Uh, people that watch me all the time uh, will know that I have uh, large, several large shelves of Blu-rays mere inches from my face right now. And, uh... Man, I need to turn up the difficulty because I don't want those guys to die that easily. They do look cool, though. Anyways, uh... So, yeah, she looked at my uh, folder of movies and, like, took Die Hard back in her room and watched it. I was like, well, that's cool that she watched Die Hard. Yeah, that guy died too easily. Am I into Wolfenstein? I haven't played the new ones too much. Sporko Pony, you didn't listen to the whole story. I said it was Die Hard. That's not a porn. Well, for me it is, sort of. Oh, I should... I think I know what to do here. There we go. Let's do that quickly when I need to. Oh, this is like a new enemy, huh? No, it's just kind of like those Wookiee guys from the old games. Okay. Whoa. 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 Oh, thank you, Cramp Style. Mighty Ginger, hi, Timmy. I'm on an hour drive to go get laid. Gonna listen to Doom as an aphrodisiac. Yeah, that makes sense. Yo, baby. I've been listening to some weird fat kid kill demons all night, and I'm ready for love. Oh, someone asked, haven't I played Doom already? Yes. And then I played Doom 2. And now I'm playing Doom 64. Which is the uh, Nintendo 64 version. See how that works? I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense. They could have called it Doom 3. Especially since it's like a different story. Because, uh, who is it? Uh, Resident Steevil knows a lot about these games. And so does, uh, who's the other guy? Mythic. And, yeah, these, uh... This is like a sequel-ish to... What the fuck just happened? Oh! Is that night vision? Yes! Light amplification goggles. Oh, it doesn't work in this room, though. Ooh! Whoa! What the hell? Oh. I love the animation. Oh, hi, everybody. You know, I have not saved it yet. I should probably do that. Sidecar driver. Tim, have you talked about the thing that I came and looked at? No, so don't talk about it. And even just talking about that now is too much, so I'm never speaking to you again. Okay. 
uh, Sykar's talking about a polyp on the inside of my asshole. And him being a gardener, I figured he would know something about it. Yeah, that was a really great way to introduce the minigun. Here's a bunch of fat pig men to shoot. <gasps> it disappeared. Ooh. It's gonna go over there. Now it's gonna come back here, right? Probably not. Oh, is that the real one? Okay. What are these two? Okay. That just smushed me, is all that did. Hmm. Yeah, Doom 64 is that version. Now, they also did one for... Okay. So, what am I getting wrong here? Actually, I haven't saved the game yet. I should probably do that. Oh, I can't change the difficulty? Hmm. Maybe later I'll just play up to this. Whatever point I get to tonight, I'll play up to it on harder difficulty. Non-coke nosebleed. I don't know what you're on, but I barely understand your message. Is your mom texting it for you? It's written in mom text. And you record the audio, space, space, capital O, of your streams to a cassette so I can put it in my 2XL robot and fall asleep to it. Okay, I, I kind of get that. Um, no, I won't do that. Timmy, why do you think movies are terrible at video game adaptations? Because the stories are... Okay, a video game is made for you to interact with it and be in the story. And that's not... And, and a movie is a story where you... Um, that you uh, passively experience, right? So it's like they're two different kinds of things and to me it's just very hard to get the uh... anyways, I can't talk right now I'm trying to figure out this puzzle <laughs> Exactly, I was in 66. Okay, so... What the hell do I do here? The Terraformer. Okay. Wasn't into those movies. I liked Bumblebee. Okay. There's no getting out of that, is there? Hmm. Am I able to move this somehow? Into there? Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna reload. But, uh, I don't... I don't remember... Or I've never played this, so I wouldn't remember. I don't know what you do here, y'all. And Panini and Resident Stevel and Mythic all know, and they're not telling me because they hate my guts, and... I'm just gonna have to figure it out like a fucking adult. Okay. Okay, well I guess I haven't been through here yet. Maybe I have. Hmm. I like that the yellow key door is just bright yellow, and the blue key doors are just bright blue. It's very simple. Okay. But that's a blue room. Blue room! Blue, 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 blue room! Blue, 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 blue room! Blue, 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 blue room! That's a, but that's a red one, that's not bright red. Come on. Get with the program, red door. Oh, I don't need that right now. Blue room. A blue door in a blue room. Blue key card. Zing hi bye, Dick Van Patten. Zing hi hi, kicker guard. Did my dono go through? I don't know. I haven't looked at that stuff yet. Let me look. Okay. Let's check out the down nows, down nows, down nows. I know that leaving the game unpaused is totally screwing up my playtime. Or time of beating the level, whatever, so. I don't care. Okay. Yes, Ryahuasca, is that you? Ryahuasca91 donated 20 bucks. Says, my wife is asleep. I'm using the credit card. Hope she doesn't find out 420. <laughs> Tell lookers, go fuck yourselves to bars. Thank you. Okay. Okay, video game movies. That, I mean, honestly... One of the ones I've had more fun watching is uh, Mortal Kombat, the uh, the '90s one. It's stupid, but it's it's awesome. What does the whole ceiling come down when that happens? No, just that part. Well, okay, now, hmm. To our Sonic. I've only seen the first Sonic, but that was pretty good. Actually, yeah. Well, it's it's only his voice. I feel, uh, if you like Jim Carrey, old school Jim Carrey, I mean, the new Sonic movie kind of did that, you know. <sighs> See, this is one of those things where I feel like streaming is too hard to... Like, I can't stream and do a puzzle. I'm just not that smart, you know? I have no idea what this is doing. I'm just hitting buttons. I'm definitely going to die soon if I don't figure it out. Yeah, I know one of those switches is not like the other, but it's also not doing what I needed to do, which is make that go down. Like, I know this one doesn't hurt me. You know what I mean?
go. You have to play the Song of Time by visiting the room in, in a specific order. Uh, I don't really know what you mean. I'm going to restart the level. Does this mean I'm not going to have any of my guns? Okay, here we go. Here's the deal. I'm going to start over because I got through the first level so quickly. And I want the demons to be harder. And now that I know there's going to be puzzles that I have no fucking clue what to do, I uh, it'll make it a little easier. Okay. And yes, you can see my stupid thing name, damn it. Okay. All right, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Do 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 Panini, I'm not going to abandon a game I made a flyer for. Come on. They put guys in there. Oh, and they can shoot you right away. All right, now we're now we're playing with bullets. Oh, I'm already very hurt. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Fucking combat. Picked up the armor. They have. They're, they're. Blasbar Blarby asked, did you end up playing any more Disco Elysium? Not yet. I'll get to it. I've had, you know, obviously we all started slowing uh, down with the streams when Trevor died, but I've had other stuff going on. <laughs> had a crazy summer, so I'm starting to get back into it. I might even do Zucchini Boys this week, too. We'll see what happens. This game looks old. Well, the name of the game is Doom 64. So let's see if you can use your powers of deduction. Figure that out. Okay. 
Yes, obviously it's from 1964. <laughs> oh, kill me. Okay. No, don't do that. We have had enough of that going around. Okay, so... One in there, one in there. I love how ridiculously zoomed in the map is at first. Like, dude, nobody wants a map that's that zoomed in. Nobody. Commies, maybe. Fucking communists. No, I just mean that Trevor died, not that he got killed. Dude, okay, those guys still die too quickly with the chainsaw. This chainsaw's too good. It's too good. Okay, what it means in the, the non-snarky version... <laughs> as best I can accomplish that anyways, um, means it was for Nintendo 64. How cool do these guys look? I do like the graphics. Blue Moon... We're all in our 30s. Okay, but you're not all in your 30s. Some of you are younger. I know some people appreciate the clarification, you know? I know they do. I just know it. I feel it in my, my parts. Um, okay, that was weird. Didn't need to say that. Oh. See these little tiny switchy things? Like... Something happened there, and I don't know what happened. Okay. Uh -huh. I did do. I just did this 15 minutes ago, and I still didn't remember. I'm the best. What? I don't know what I just did. Okay. So I'm playing this with an Xbox controller on my computadora. Dude, I like that all the characters... You know what? They clearly learned one thing from Doom 2. The best noise in Doom 2, as many people saw me say many, many times, is that, uh... The best noise is when the Mancubus, the big fat guys with flamethrowers, go... Bwah, bwah. And so they've given everybody else na uh, noises almost as good. You know what I mean? Okay, Mythic, how old are you? You, th you think you're the oldest. I'm probably the oldest. But, uh, you know, because we're like all your... We're like uh, the, everyone's dads, right? Isn't that how this works? What's everybody's credit card number? Uh, my credit card number is one. I got the first one. Well, Panini, uh... When you're starting out, though, it's a little different, you know? You just turned 50. All right, Mythic, you got, you got me beat. <laughs> you're fucking old. <laughs> oh. 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 
Wait a minute. Do these guys have sexy asses like they did in the other games, though? That's important. These monsters better have sexy asses. Yeah, exactly, Panini. Like, in a few months, he'll probably realize kind of how... He'll get a be he'll have a better idea of what's going on there and be like, oh, okay. You know, and then I think he'll probably be able to stream more. Because you get into a rhythm of it. Plus, you know, he and his uh, fiance got uh, COVID like right after the baby was born. And everybody's fine, but still, that only makes it tougher because they had to like make sure they weren't getting the kids sick and, you know, all that stuff. Wear masks. Best parasocial experience ever. Well, thank you, Thin Veil. Vale. Have I played Half Life? Nah. Why does the fucking kid just take care of itself? You know, Sleeve, you're not wrong. And even when you tell, ask the kid that, they don't even answer you. They just go, bah, 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 fucking assholes. You know? They're very uh, selfish. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about with butts. So. These pink demons, and this is from Doom 1 or 2, uh, the demons have real good sculpted muscular asses. So, did I talk to Nate about doing Trailer Boy soon? Oh, we're on it, don't worry. We'll do it this Sunday. We, he just didn't quite have all the stuff in place to do it last time. Yeah, nice, nice butts, right? Good butts, everybody. Excellent job. Who's shooting at me? Ah, oh, shit. That was fun. scared me a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, the pinky's asses are not as impressive. The evolution of demon asses. Fuck you, man. Alright. Well, that's the end. I don't want to go in there yet, though. I want to find me some secrets, and then we'll get that puzzle solved. Okay, so I imagine once I solve the first puzzle, I'm going to have a better idea of what the hell's going on with these games, right? Is this a door, or what is it? Seventeen was just like seventeen. I love that, but like just seventeen. Isn't it weird? We're a bunch of apes just staring at an ape staring at some old code from the nineties. Yeah, it's uh, one group of monkeys watching another monkey looking at zeros and ones displayed in very very tiny fashion. Oh. Oh, they're going to make me blow that up? Ah, oh, god damn it, I'm so bad at things. Oh, oh, I found the thing! Dude, what is happening? Okay. 
God damn it. I want to blow that barrel up so I can go past that area. Should have been using the shoddy. Yeah, oh, come on, Timmy. There we go. That's what Daddy likes to see. Okay. So what's this? Uh, take me somewhere else. Favorite game soundtrack? Um, the first Crash Bandicoot, because I love Mark Mothersbaugh from Devo. Um, ooh. What else do I love? Oh, this got me back up there. For, okay, what else has a good soundtrack? Um, Yes, the, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, and, uh, Breath of the Wild, you know? Alright. Now I can be done with the level, but now I forget where you go. Oh, I like that there's still some parts wiggling. That's fun. Wiggling parts. That's what I put on my Tinder profile, but nobody uh, seemed to appreciate it. Big fan of wiggling parts? I don't know. I got some secrets. Oh, and they give passwords in this because they couldn't they didn't do save games yet, right? I'm glad I started over on the higher difficulty though, because that's gonna end up being more enjoyable for you guys watching me fucking shit my pants and scream. <laughs> Come here, motherfucker. The default brightness gamma setting is wrong and doesn't represent the original. Okay. I was kind of thinking this looked dim because you can barely see the word armor. Oh, and you guys can't see my armor at all right now. Oops. <laughs> that was my private doom porn stash. Okay, so... Oh, Abby Sally, you got COVID. That's stupid. Why'd you do that? Um... Okay, so there is a setting, right? Is it, uh, it's not input, it's not sound, obviously, it'd be display. Is that better, or are we going for environmental brightness, like that, or is that too bright? I've heard the rehearsal's amazing. Lower the COVID settings. Oh, I should have done that. Well, let's see what this looks like. Oh, it kind of looks a little better, I think. I still think the word armor is too light. Okay, here's this room that was confounding me so much. It 
lower the resolution to stop rendering COVID. I know the clue is somewhere around here. I know there's clues. Alright. I know there's clues. Alright. I just, I, I just gotta, you know, alright? I just gotta, like... That was me doing a poor Quentin Tarantino, by the way. Not like Quentin Tarantino if he didn't have any money, but like just a poorly done impression. <gasps> Shit. Oh, this is where the, uh... Thin veil, that doesn't happen because we don't talk about where I work. We're not gonna. Okay. Your COVID turned into shingles? I'll tell you what, guys, and I know this may be a controversial opinion. I think COVID's pretty wild. What the fuck was that? Where'd y'all come from? Hey, where y'all from? <laughs> oh. Okay, here's that fucking room again. the backpack. You got backpack. Alright, I'm gonna save it right here. Switches, man. You kidding me? And it's so fast. How am I supposed to? You know, I have a. Someone's asking if you donate enough money. Maybe I will donate enough. I got it. Oh shit. Okay, I did it. I don't know what was happening before. I'm just too dumb sometimes, you know? Alright. The Mountain Dew made it easier. Oh, this isn't Mountain Dew. It's spark. It's like dollar store sparkling water. 
just what a growing boy needs. I also have two kinds of tea and a glass of water. That's the lavender tea. So this must be the mint tea. Oh yeah. Kills your depth perception. Do you have like uh, any kind of eye problems? My dad has problems with 3D games like this because one of his eyes is just pretty much worthless. And has been since he was like eight. Excuse me, I burped. Okay. How do I get to that blue door? Behind the green door. Do 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 ba do ba do 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 behind the green door. Oh, I forgot this area. And those things. Those guys. None of the dooms are easy to navigate, especially Doom 2. That was fucking insane. Thank you, Happy Sally. Feel better. I gotta tell you, I think this game rules. Well, how did Kevin Smith put it in that horrible tweet to his wife like 14 years ago? She still pones my dick and I pone her brown spot or something. It was just awful. But that's what this game does. I'm really enjoying it. I came from. All right. Behind the green door. Oh. A lot of servers in hell. Yeah, it's, that's the funny thing about hell is that's always there's always a lot of technology. Oh, okay. Now what the fuck do I do? Okay. This is a weird way to play this game. How do you get in that area? Oh yeah, I never went down. I'm going down. There we go. Oh, good God. What the fuck? Okay. That shouldn't have worked. I like that it did, though. Fuck you, you fucking fuck. Oh, good laser stuff. I <laughs> know. Oh, 
What's the last good movie everybody saw? I have to say, I pictured Timmy as an unhinged crazy person for ten years until I saw him on stream. Um, and now what do you think? <laughs> Don't answer that. happened cool sing 2 was good the beginning was boring and long and then the second part of sing 2 is fucking incredible Like, the, the uh, performance at the end is crazy. Oh, Todd Bothersome. That's what I want to talk about. You just watched Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead? Is that what you said? For the first time last night? Um, the original Dawn of the Dead, right? An original Night of the Living Dead? Whoa, I like those stairs. Um, yeah. So did you, which one did you like better? Todd. And the remake, the remake of Night of the Living Dead is good. Yeah, and, you know, um, what's his name? Zack Snyder's remake of Dawn is not bad. Although, they're, in both cases, the original is superior, but... I mean, shit, man, the remake of Night of the Living Dead has, uh, Tony Todd. I mean, you can't fuck with that, you know? It's great. Boy, this machine gun really feels great. The way it shakes the screen a little bit. It's fun. I gotta say, the level design here is very good. I am very much enjoying this game. Even though I was getting confused, it's okay, yeah. Return of the Living Dead. Okay, so Return of the Living Dead I think is great. And the only part of it that I don't like is those two fucking whining, screaming, crying characters played by James Karen and some other guy. It's like, it's not funny. And then and when they made Night, uh, Return of the Living Dead 2, they fucking did it again. It's like, okay, we're done with them. Please. God. Day of the Dead is interesting because it's so, uh, the sound, I've talked about this before on several streams, but the sound is so fucked up in that movie. My favorite thing is the, uh, when the zombies are ripping the guy's throat out in Day of the Dead, and the, uh, sound design is so that, uh, like, as his throat's getting ripped, he's screaming, obviously, because zombies are ripping his throat out, and, uh, that's what happens. And, uh, He's screaming, and as they rip the voice box out, his the screaming like gets. He's like, ah, yeah, like it, it screws up the screaming. It's so yeah, the pitch goes up. Yep. The stars are sexy. Looks like that new space footage. All right, where's the yellow door? I know it's bright yellow. Ah, saw a demon door. I need to find it so, and it's all yellow too. I don't really know how that song goes because I don't like Coldplay. 
Alright, um, where the fuck am I supposed to go? So, if you've watched my Doom streams before, you know how much I appreciate the score. And you know that one of the levels in Doom 2 has a, a particular level with a really great score. And, you know, I kind of like to just make up words to songs sometimes. And so, uh, I was going through the level. There's a video of this somewhere. I was going through the level and I just started going, do 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 but stuff in your pussy, but stuff in your pussy, but stuff in your pussy. And it was a huge hit. Now I have a billion dollars and I don't even need to do this anymore. Butt stuff everywhere and butt stuff in your pussy. The level was dead simple. Thank you, Resident Evil. See, one thing about these Doom streams I've been doing is there's a couple Doom... Uh, I mean this in a polite way. Mega nerds. And I mean this in a polite way, too, that have never been with a... Never had sex with anyone. Never seen a naked person. Neither one of them. They've admitted that, right, guys? I'm just kidding, because I always hate that people equate being a dork with not having sex. Because I think the real dorks know that's just not true. Anyways. They know. And, uh... It's, it's a good song. Man, I really lost my train of thought there. Ooh. Yeah, I've had sex too. I'm just kidding. You're having sex right now? Dork girls got dim titties. <laughs> what? I mean, yes, but it's just a funny thing to say. these invisible purple laser dudes that just let me shoot them in the face. Ooh, I got the super shotgun. Okay. Okay. So, the thing with the original Night of the Living Dead, and so of course the remake, the thing with that, um, having the black dude survive and then get shot at the end, it does have racial connotations to it, yes. However, George Romero did not write that to be a black guy. He just had the last surviving human get killed because, you know, as a, as basically as a comment saying, like, you know, humans are fucking jumpy and crazy and these are all a bunch of rednecks and they're just going to shoot anyone that comes out of that house. But... Uh, when Dwayne Jones auditioned for it, he was so great, and he is great in that movie, that George Romero cast him, and then, yes, just now with a black actor in 1968 or 9, whenever that was, doing that ending made it a lot more racially charged, obviously, and kind of like a political statement, you know. And I probably learned that from the documentary Horror Noir, which is a fantastic documentary that I recommend to anybody with access to it. It's on Shudder. Oh, you know what the last good movie I saw? I watched Stone Cold last night, which is an insane 90s action movie from the 90s. And, uh, <laughs> or like 1991. 
And, um... It's a lot of fun. It's really, really crazy. And I also watched, uh... I showed my daughter Three Amigos for the first time. She loved it. Um, it's such a good movie. Bald redneck drinking beer? No, it was before that. Maybe, maybe, it, it was right before Steve Austin. I think Steve Austin was probably already wrestling then, but was not Stone Cold Steve Austin yet. Because he used to have, like, a, a much sillier persona, right? Stunning Steve Austin? Is that what it was? That is hilarious. I can't believe they thought this map was better than the other. Just like this classic sci fi movie line uh, map. Okay. Butt stuff in your pussy, butt stuff in your pussy. That's the problem with butt stuff in your pussy. It's very well written. And so, you know, it's quite the earworm. I'm a little offended that you are seem to be upset that you're it's in your head. Oh, oh no. Get me the fuck out of here. Okay. That's what I always say when those floating screaming guys show up, right? Boy, they sure did die well. I like the way you die, boy. Any thoughts on the D&D &D trailer? You know, I know that uh, Buckerson and Myers is a, was a, a hit. People loved it, which is great, because I loved doing it. But I'm not a huge D&D &D guy. But, that being said, uh, I love D&D. &D. When I say I'm not a huge D&D &D guy, I love it, but I don't play it as much as I wish I could. My daughter and I have one called the a D&D &D thing called The Adventure Begins. It's like a board game. But it, like, still teaches the concepts of D&D. &D. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so we like it. And so, yes, we saw the trailer. We were like, cool trailer. And we watched it. And I think it looks like a lot of fun. Bucker Fuckerson and Myers. Dude, when Trevor said... When Trevor first said that I'm going to be Fup Bucker, said, like, my first reaction was just like, oh, well, that's how this is going to go. <laughs> like, well, now I know how this is going to be. Okay, what am I missing? Oh! The 
answer to what am I missing is several brain cells. Okay. Resident Evil, you really think we started taking it seriously? I, I mean, I guess. I'm kind of offended that you think that, though. Yeah, you know what's funny is Darren was the most like, I don't know how to do this, you guys, what do we do? You know, about D&D. &D, but then ended up, of course, little bastard, being the best at it. Because, I mean, everybody was funny in their own way, but to me, Darren just fucking nailed the shit out of what you do, you know? Because, you know, uh, a lot of... Like, I had played before. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Seriously, ish. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. Um, but so I had played before, right? But um, so I understood that you don't say because you know, especially early on, everybody when they were ro when they were about to roll, they say, "Okay, I do this," and they like list off everything like they did everything, you know. Um, and I think they they started to learn not to do that. But Darren, even though he would do that, he still kind of understood how it works. Like, oh, you have to adapt to what what happens, you know. And I feel like he grasped that concept first and qu most most quick list. And he, his character survived, right? And so did the kid. And, you know, I am feeling like I want to do more, but I don't think the other guys want to. But I purposely ended it the way that I did. To do a sequel, uh, it ends, if you know your movies, you know westerns. I ended it the s very similar to, similar to how the movie The Wild Bunch ends. And, uh... You know, I definitely left it open so that we could do more with the, some of the characters if we wanted to. Whereas somebody would play Pip, someone would be, or Darren would be pissy, someone, and then you could have new characters, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny when he would do that. <laughs> yeah, he's good, man. I love him. He is so fucking funny. I really like this machine gun. Mm. Holy shit. Oh, I gather I'm supposed to do this. Thank you for saying that. Who said that? Lobaka. Thank you. I, I had fun doing it. And you know, the thing is, is I do play up getting frustrated, and I often do it as a way to play into what other, other people are doing. But also, yes, I mean, obviously, sometimes that shit was fucking frustrating. <laughs> you know? Especially because I got really... I have severe anxiety, and I would get... And I only found that out recently, before we started playing, like a couple months before we started playing. Or maybe a year. Anyways, uh, so the idea of having to put together this fucking adventure for them every time, and then like f feeling like I'm either wasn't prepared or they're not gonna like it or whatever, and then to spend all the time doing that and then have them like just not at all even give it even close to two shits about it, which is fine and funny. Uh, but it was, it, it would just would get frustrating too, you know, like, oh my god, I spent all this time and I don't know what's going on, oh my god. That was cool.
copyright Ock Beyond Good. I mean, that's the thing is, it wouldn't have been as funny if they weren't constantly fucking with my thing. And and I do think, I think I did a good job. Uh, but I do think that the times when I did not try to be funny, it was way better. And normally I was not designing the missions to be funny. Because I'm not a dumbass. I figured that would be funny. But, um... But I did... I felt like I got to a good point where I could, uh... You know, because I was just following, like, a beginner adventure that a lot of people are actually familiar with. The the minds of... Bugger Bucking or... I don't know what the hell it was. Anyways... Um... So, uh, what the fuck? But, you know, we got so off course that I just started having to fucking wrap my own stuff. And so having, like, the shape-shifting sex scene was just something I wanted to happen. Because I have really weird fetishes. And Zach nailed it, and I came all over the place, but you guys couldn't see that. Um, Pip was not my creation. Pip was in, the, like, the material, for the D&D &D material. But anyways, uh, nailed it indeed. But no, like, the Christmas episode, I had such a blast writing Santa Claus in there, you know? Um, and then I had brought Santa back, because, I mean, he's like a demigod. They made him fucking hardcore. I don't know what I'm supposed to fucking do here. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm done. Were the Santa gifts your idea? Yeah. Um, I've had, in one of the beginner things I had, I had, like, little cards with uh, the items on them. Oh, and then I did the whole Game of Thrones ripoff with Lady Stoneheart, but I called her something else, and nobody fucking got it except maybe Sam. <laughs> they were really about to try to kill Santa Claus. Yeah, I had to be like, you guys, this is just not gonna fucking happen. <laughs> like, he had like a million fucking hit points. You know, wow, I just got my ever-loving ass kicked here. You have a love of blue-eyed thing. All right. He had two swords. Spider or Spider-Man. <laughs> Santa Man had two swords. Dude, what if Santa was called Santa Man? Oh god, I'm all the way back here. That's okay. Shit. Shit, CJ, shit. the secret area. Ooh, partial invisibility. Damn it. It was this one.
stuff in your pussy. Yo, you guys want to see a good evil Santa Claus movie? Uh, uh, Dial Code Santa Claus, a.k.a. Deadly Game, a.k.a. something something Paranoel. It's a French... I th I've talked about this on stream before, but it's a French film uh, from like 1989 about this little kid who's very uh, technically proficient and he's rich, he lives in a mansion, and he has a bunch of toys and gadgets, and his mother has to be gone all night, so he's home alone, and a Santa Claus guy, uh, a Santa Claus goes crazy and tries to kill him, and it's crazy, it's really good. Um, but, um... So that came out shortly before Home Alone, and he tried to sue the makers of Home Alone, and that didn't work out for him. You fucking bastard. So the last, the next level gets hard right away. This game is multiplayer, but no. So. Oh, 60% secrets. Got a little more. God damn it, that's not the button I wanted. There we go. Come here, asshole. Come on! That's what you get for not having a sweet sculpted ass like your forebearers. How is Shark Week still a thug? That's a great point. I don't know. fun in there. Do 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 put stuff in your pussy. Yeah, deadly game deadly games? Yeah, the French Santa Claus movie I was just talking about, right? Because there's another not as good movie called Deadly Game One's Deadly Games, one's Deadly Game. Uh, 
I don't even want that yet. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is a great Doom game so far. I love the way the invisible guy is revisible. Nice. Yeah, the kid looks like Rambo. Yep, that's the right one. Yeah, game over, deadly game, dial code Santa Claus, thirty three point sixteen Paranoel. It's got like so many names. Am I playing all the Dooms? Um, I played Doom 1 uh, a while back, and this is Doom... And then I played Doom 2, and this is Doom 64. I'm gonna skip Doom 3, because it's... this. These ones are all kind of part of the same story, sort of. And I kind of like that. Um, because the newer Doom games, 2019 and Eternal... Uh, get me in that shit. Uh, they... Uh, take place within this same storyline. And I, I kind of dig that. So I'll definitely be playing those. There's another one. What, Final Doom or what? Oh, the one with Plutonia and TNT. That's Final Doom, right? Oh, God. Oh, that was so fucking dumb. Yeah, but does that one count? At some point, I gotta say, look, I'm just gonna get to the new ones. You know? Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't save it in a while. Can I do that? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I no, the gameplay is awesome too. You're right, Mythic, but I kind of want to play the canon stuff. At least play through all this. I don't want to be doing this project forever. But for people that have been following all the Doom streams, because I know some people really dig that, I do want to finish it. But uh, yeah, I gotta draw the line somewhere and not just play Doom games for until I'm fucking fifty. No offense to people who play, f who are 50 who play these, because someone just told me they are, but you know what I mean. Oh. 
Oh, it's just a chain gun? Tarkov. Yeah, like Elden Ring, which I have and have not put like hardly any time into yet. Um, Disco Elysium, which has a great Twitch add-on thing where the audience helps me choose the dia my dialogue options, which I played once on here and it was a lot of fun. So we'll definitely do that again. Um, you have a lot of games, cause like I would get like credits or sometimes fans. There's a few games fans have bought for me that I haven't done, like, played yet, that I, you know, be good to get to those, obviously, you know, um, there's a lot. Yes. That was a great death. Yeah, huge backlog of games. Also, when I get to the newer Dooms... I, I'm going to play them on Xbox because I have them on Xbox. Although maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get them on this on, on Steam. But I mean, I have the Razer and stuff. I have ways to stream those games on my Xbox. So why don't I just do that? You know. But I will start a new Doom 2019 or 2016 file, and so I can get all the secrets and stuff again. Tyranny, no. Yeah, is there is there is a soundtrack? Should I turn it up a little more? Let's see here. I just think there's not much of a soundtrack, right? Yeah, I do have a beefy video card. So it might be cool to play them on here. But I don't want to necessarily buy him again. How's the sound sound on that? Is it too loud? Gunfire is slightly loud. Okay. I'll turn this down a little bit. And. Okay. 
Hey, Dr. Ryan is raiding. Thank you, Dr. Ryan. And normally when people stream, I'm almost done. I am almost done, but 18 minutes... Or people stream. Normally when people raid, I'm almost done, but... I've got 18 minutes left. That's pretty good. Damn it. Let me try that again. Okay, that made them all go down. I want to try and get more of them to be able to hit more of them. Welcome to the raiding party. Um, I'm Timmy Williams from Why Does Kids You Know. We are using this Twitch deal to raise money for our animated film Mars, which is nearing completion and people will eventually get to see and we're all very happy about it oh Frank Howley in here how you doing Frank I feel like opening those in that order somehow did something good right Whoa, that was awesome. Holy shit balls. God damn it. Three, one, two, four. Thank you. Did you know I was going to die and have to do it again? Is that why you said that? <laughs> no, don't save it. Okay. God, I hate these little skull shits so much. What the fuck? I did that wrong, didn't I? Oh. Secret level access when Oh, I didn't have auto run on. Dumbass. Well, shit. So does Street Piss Tube think real? No, it's not. <laughs> Would that be great, though? Maybe? God damn, I hate these little fuckers. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the Barbarian trailer, yeah. So, uh, he just screened that at Comic-Con, and... I mean, people are going ape shit for it. I'm really stoked for him, man. Because I haven't seen the movie, but um, I've read the script, and it's good, you know? And I cannot wait for our little boy, Zacky, to get much-deserved love for what's going to be a really cool movie. Rather see the barbarian than nope. Yeah, me too. I liked nope though. Sweet. Okay, so this is a secret level. Sweet. Ooh, I got a hundred percent of the secrets. The vast silence reminds you of the military morgue. You knew the installation had a classified level. 
What's Zach's role in Barbarian? He wrote it and directed it. Timmy plays Doom 2016 Eternal Stream after I beat this one. This is Doom 64. And I only just started, and I think I just finished the fourth level? So, yeah. God damn it, fucking hate skulls. Yeah, but the the thing is, because the producers made the big uh, those big horror movies, but like producers, uh, you know, they do have something to do with uh, a lot to do with movies being successful. They make it, they get it produced, you know. They make sure that uh, the director can get it made the way they want to make it, and they uh, kind of drive the drive all the. the drive all the rest of the creative people the right way, which is why producers are a big deal. Executive producers on a movie are more just like, uh, they put in the money, you know, but, and then it's the opposite way on the TV show, kind of, but, no, they're not the money bags, that's executive producers. What, what, WTF does the producer do? He could be anything. The producer uh, gets the whole production together and kind of organizes it and, you know, helps uh, basically guides the production to figure out uh, when everything, you know, scheduling the shoots and getting the directors lined up, the director lined up, and the cast, and the script. You know, the producer, like in Zach's case, he had the script, and the producer is who you go to to can, like, they can get everything else going. You know what I mean? So, that's kind of what happened. The producer basically makes it so you can make the movie. out of the loop so hard on entertainment stuff, Zach can probably better explain what exactly a producer does. But they are important, and that's the reason they advertise them. Because they help, you know, they help get those elements of movies that you love. If there's something you really love about it, you know, there's a good chance the producer helped come up with the idea, or you know, help make that idea work, you know? Domino's Fleet, we've already been through that. We've already been through that in our lives once. It's okay.
God damn. Oh shit. My favorite uh, kid in the hall would, uh, I think it'd be Kevin, probably. But they're all good. It's a great show. They're a great group. And yeah, you know, I love Brain Candy, and yeah, it was tumultuous, apparently, and they had a lot of problems, but... And no, I have not seen the documentary. But I thought that, I didn't see all the new sketch show yet, either, but I thought what I saw was great. So, just so we all know, once I'm done with this level, I'm going to be done. Actually, I'll be right back, though. I'm still here. You know, great quack, if you like the Munsters trailer, then it's fine. Then it's not bad. You know what I mean? People telling you that it's bad. They mean it's bad to them, but everybody has to talk at extremes these days. And, like, everything's absolute. But if you like something, you like something. Just like someone was just saying that the, you know, Foley wasn't funny in the kids in the hall. Well, that's your opinion. I thought he was fine. I thought the whole movie's great. A lot of things are subjective. No, art is subjective, period. That is the absolutism. It's not, this movie's good or this movie's bad. No. You like what you want to like, man. I'll tell you what else is an absolutism, at least to me. There's no such thing as a guilty pleasure. If you like something, fucking like it. Good for you. Yeah? Whoa, that's awesome. Damn 
damn it. Of course he blew me off the thing. <laughs> well, that's the thing. When you get into sexual stuff, it's like, okay. So, yeah, like, for example, scat porn. Okay, as, yeah, if people are into it, okay. As long as everybody involved has consented to being in your poop movie, then fucking have fun, you know? Oh, talking about movies and being objective towards things, I would love to see what everybody thinks about the movie Mad God on Shudder. Domino's Fleet. Yeah, I kind of agree with saying it goes on too long. But I don't know. I mean, it is only 85 minutes. It feels very long. When I showed a friend of mine the trailer, he said, uh... No, he watched a clip. He's like, I feel like the clip slows down time. And the whole movie to me does feel like that where it's like... You're like, oh, it's been 80... It's only been 10 minutes? Holy shit. You know? What if I... I want to get that. I want that. That's what I want. Yeah, the human stuff in Mad God didn't work as well. Not human, but uh, live-action actors. But and, and I think there is a plot to it. It's obviously... Not easy to figure out what it is, but it is there. Okay, so this room is not as complicated as they want you to think it is, but I do want to get the other stuff. Yeah, the doctor scene, yeah. Go to th how do I get on that thing? Oh, did Amazon start getting rid of some of their horror movies? They had a lot. They had a lot of dumb shit, though, too. Just, like, gobs and gobs of, like, You know, movies are like shark zombie fest that are just like some asshole making a very shoddy movie with no love put into it. And uh, that's the main thing, you know. And then acting like, uh, you know, it, it basically just doing it for like a tax shelter. You know, that's what I don't like.
Wait, uh, Amazon has a full moon subscription? I would subscribe to that. God damn it. Yeah, Tubi is pretty cool. Where's that happening at? Fuck. Oh, it's that. Okay. Hell yeah. This part's driving me crazy. I know there's... You can get across it. Wait. How come I can't... Ugh. See? The, that's annoying. that work I'm so lost now. Is there a link to the cake Timmy made? I had to go to bed before the end of the stream. No, the cake did not happen. And, uh, it fell apart. I threw it away. And my mother saved the day with. My mother saved the day and made a, a replacement cake that was good. So, that's what happened there. I did, I threw the fucker away. Wait, again? Fucking hell. Crap, oh, Jesus Christ. You 
son of a bitch. Ah, auto run was off. Yeah, it's weird that this one doesn't have the music, you know? I agree. Excuse me. Yeah, I do have three drinks. It's awesome. Fucking fuckers. All right. Christ. Timmy, when you become rich and famous with your hit song about stuff in your pussy, will you forget about us? Forget about who? Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm reloading. Good God. Yeah, Netflix's business model seems to not quite make a lot of sense. Is that one of those guys that barfs them out? Jesus! Okay, I'm not ready for that large explosion. Oh, 
Okay, what the fuck is that? So they shoot the skulls at you? killed that thing. God. Bunch of little bastards. Okay. What did that do? Ooh. percent we did it everybody we won hell yeah okay well I'm into this game I think it rules and I'm glad I'm playing it and I'm glad you're gonna watch me play it so if I don't do zucchini boys this week I'll probably at least do this again because now I'm addicted to it so yeah, it was a quick five levels. Well, there's 20, there's 30 or something in this game. So, yeah, maybe I can beat it more quickly than I beat Doom 2. I felt like Doom 2 took forever. Yes, thank you to everybody. You guys are all great. Even if I'm being sassy, you know, I actually love you. I always remember that. Except for you. You know who you are. Um... Okay, so, butt stuff in your pussy. And, let me see. Wow, that is a lot of open windows, Timmy. Who the fuck are you? Thank you to everybody who donated and or uh, subscribed. Much appreciate. This has the same amount of levels as Doom 2. I know, but the Doom 2 levels, like... I, I got through five levels tonight. The Doom 2 levels, I get through, like, two. Yeah, it, like, it just took for fucking ever to play that game. You know? You want me to have your babies? I've got bad news for you about my biology. Alright, let's raid somebody. You gotta raid somebody. Hmm. Amaranth. Okay. Are they on? They are. Oh, that's that. Eh, I don't want to do that. Dabs and drums. What's a drum roll, Tony? Well, let's see dabs and drums. There we go. All right, be nice to dabs and drums. Oh, they're playing hot shot golf. Have a good night, everybody. I love you very much. And you're the best. Remember to be nice to dabs and drums. You're a representative of the wit of the whitest men in town. And so make sure you're a good whitest men in town representative, okay? Love you all. Good night. <laughs> Do